what's up guys this is Tarleton here and welcome back to my channel so following my two top 8 best transformer from the studio series line and of course we have the Wolf of Cybertron line the Earthrise so today will be my top 5 worst transformer figures of 2020 so in this video I'm gonna mix of all the lines together which is like a transformer it's, that is officially released from Takara and Hasbro so no third party will be counted in this list so now let's begin so beginning with the top five here we have the studio series deluxe class soundwave from transformer revenge of the fallen so why is he in this list and why is number five so the first reason that he will be on this list is that is this the lazy transforming mechanism in my opinion that is just some really lazy thinking and I think that they could have done a better job or maybe even put this guy as a Voyager class and add some accessories like the satellite and so of course the paint is not great as well we hardly get any paint and the silver paint looks dull on the gray plastic other than that they add some they try to add some weathering effects by some black dots onto the body but that doesn't look really great so in my opinion, Sunwave is really bad. It's an individual bad figures to play with. So why he is in the number five spot? Well, the reason for that would be that despite all the lazy transforming and the boring playing mechanism, the transforming mechanism, his robot mode looks somewhat okay. This is the case where we never seen actually seen the robot mode, so they can do whatever they want without the worry of matching the actual CG model that appears in the movie. Other than that, the face sculpt to me is not really great. And even though we never actually got to see the robot mode, but it still looks great. And even though the satellite mode is lazily transformed, I can still okay with, I can live with that. And also he comes with an action base, which is the first we've ever seen with a studio series figures. Moving on. So on the number 4, we have the Deluxe Class Roadbuster. So even though that his fellow's records like Top Spin or Left Foot is a really good figure, Roadbuster as the first records doesn't do the job and really sets our attention towards the other records. Will they be the same as this guy? I mean like the reason for that is that while he possess an excellent vehicle mode, I love the design of the race car and everything that just, just look perfect and it's just beautifully painted. The thing with Robuster is that the transformation resulting in him having a nice robot mode but with a huge backpack and with such a big backpack like that, oh well, I'm not feeling like this guy got anything nice. So I know that a lot of you guys, collectors and displayers have chose the option of removing his backpack entirely to display him. That is an option. But as a toy reviewer, I cannot do that because I have to transforming him now and there for comparison and everything. And one thing is that the amount of accessories we have with him is way too little. Like look at Top Spin. We got two claw and two machine guns, which made from rubber, but it, they fit onto him really nice and cool. But with Robuster, all we have is a mere simple pistol. And need I remind you that Top Spin is also a deluxe class, so which is kind of bad for Robuster here. Moving on to number three, we have Alicorn, the Deluxe class. So why is he on the list? He's a great toy to play with. I especially enjoy his chubbiness and find it cute. So why is he on the list? Though so the only reason that he's on the list is because of the transformation. I mean like the leg is great. I enjoy his especially his leg section because they have a they possess a great range of articulation. The only thing that I find him messed up it is because of the arm the crocodile arm in the alternate mode that is still hanging in the robot mode other than that he's a great toy i enjoy having him around i enjoy playing him i enjoy transforming him he's a great one but unfortunately the arms that drag him down i wish there's a way that they could actually just like you know put a pin on that and he can remove it onto the robot mode or do something else with it other than that he's great i enjoy the crocodile head but unfortunately the arms make him on the list so up on number 3 spot, we have Deluxe Class Hoist from Earthrise. I think I don't need to say anything about this guy because he just look ugly. And the way they design the shoulders, it makes him really hard to move around. And of course we have that straightforward thingy from the shoulders. So whenever you move his arm, so it's, you bring his arm up, it goes up like that. And to me, 
Poys doesn't appear like a toy that need to be played with a lot. So I'm gonna be honest, like the only reason that I purchased that guy is to review him actually. I have no intention of buying that toy if I'm just a normal collector. I'm gonna I mean, I'm gonna give it a skip because he doesn't even appear on the shows and stuff. So like they just make it make him out so they can fill out the cast and the release date of everything. So yeah, highly not recommending Hoist. So for some honorable mention, so of course I'm gonna mention the Earthrise Iron High because of the lazy engineering and every blah 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 that bring directly from Siege. And of course we have Earthrise Prowl as well because like I thought I was expecting they're gonna do something new about it but then I guess they got lazy so they doesn't even fix the problem of Siege Prowl. And finally for the top one, worst, the worst transform figure I got my hands on this year. I, I will go especially to you know who, that we have Deluxe Class Earthrise Ratchet. So this guy came from Amazon exclusive with a pack of a green painted RC. And I know that I'm saying this might cause your furies to rise again after my Earthrise Ratchet review, but I hate these figures. He's a, such a horrible figures. He directly take everything from Iron High. You got the hollowness of the arms and the bad transformation and the lack of accessories, which is the thing that I hate most about him. Because like look at the Siege Ratchet. You got some tools for fixing other transformers, but with Earthrise Ratchet, you got all the package from Earthrise Iron High. And they still doesn't cover up the leg section, the feet section of the robot, which is lazy, lazy engineering. And he's such a bad figure, I have nothing to say. I mean like, I try to like him, but then I can, so which result in my review of him, and then you guys got furious. So that sums up my video about my top 5 worst transformer figures of 2020. So I'm gonna no say this again, this list is my personal opinion. So you can feel free to comment but keep it in a polite way. And other than that, feel free to tell me what you think about my list because like we may, might not have the same opinion. I would love to have a discussion with you guys about this matters. And so follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And if you feel like you can donate, donate for me for some future figures, feel free to do that in my coffee link below. So that will be it for today guys, Tonton out.